An absolute volatile day of trade is what we witnessed in markets after the kind of sell-off that we'd seen in Friday's session. Uh, overall, if you go to see Nifty, we ended above 17,600 mark on a positive note, which is some bit of positivity coming in there. 17,660 uh, is the levels that we're tracking in terms of Nifty 50. Whereas if you see in terms of Sensex as well, we did see an up move coming in from the day's lowest levels where we were trading in the negative, but we ended with gains of almost around 200 and 40 points coming in uh, in terms of the Sensex. Overall, in terms of broader markets, if you see the mid cap index as well as the small cap index, both of them were underperforming the benchmark indices in trade and we pretty much closed on a flat note slightly in the red. So that's how the overall markets ended in today's session. If you see from a sectoral perspective, it's an interesting move that we've been witnessing in terms of Bank Nifty as well, where we managed to close above the 40,350 mark on Bank Nifty. And clearly there is an attempt to see a breakout coming in on that on, on, the, on, on Bank Nifty as well. In terms of sectors, Nifty IT was the top gaining sector in today's session, whereas you had Nifty Energy, which was the top losing sector as well. So that's in terms of the sectoral picture. Let's quickly shift focus in terms of stock specific action. If you see on Nifty 50, you have Adani Enterprises, which was the top gainer in trade today. After the kind of downtick that we saw on Friday's session, there is some bit of covering that's happening in terms of Adani Enterprises. And even if you see the FNO data, the open interest is clearly indicating that there is some bit of positive trend that could be emerging on that counter. Bajaj Finance as well was another one that ended higher and this was mainly on the back of the Q3 numbers that were reported. And you had an Ultratech Cement. In fact, the cement counters were also weak on Friday's session. So there was a recovery that came in in terms of cement names and Ultratech Cement was one of them. In terms of losers, you had a power grid which was the top losing uh, stock again reacting to numbers. JSW Steel and an Indicent Bank were the other top losers in terms of Nifty 50. Uh, let's quickly see in terms of broader markets which were the stocks actually in use. Interestingly, a genus power was uh, in focus today. Stocks saw good uh, amount of gains and this was mainly on the back of an order win. Moving from there on, you had a BEL, that's a Bharat Electronics. Uh, now, a very mixed set of numbers is what the company has reported in the third quarter due to which there was a lot of pressure that was built up on this counter and the stock ended in the next negative. Dwarakesh Sugar also reported numbers. Numbers were weak and that's what actually put Dwarakesh Sugar under pressure. Uh, Aegis Logistics in fact was one of the top gainers in terms of BSE and this counter has seen strong gains and strong volumes in today's uh, trading session. If you see in terms of volumes, the vol they've almost quadrupled in today's session. So an interesting counter that we need to continue to watch out for tomorrow as well. Jindal Saw ended at a 15 month high and this was mainly on the back of a high profit growth that we've seen in the third quarter. Moving from there on, Voltas, if you go to see again an FNO counter, now the call options have doubled on this stock and that's one of the reasons we've seen a smart up move. It's up almost the most in the last six months. So an interesting counter to watch out for in terms of uh, Voltas as well. Adani Green dropped to the lowest levels in 14 months in today's session and that uh, drop since Friday's session has continued. As well as if you see an excited industries. Uh, the company reported numbers, Q3 missed estimates and that's what put the counter under pressure and the stock ended in the red. So overall, there were a lot of movers and shakers in trade. This is going to be an interesting week as well uh, because overall you have the Adani FPO that will be closing tomorrow. You have the union budget on the 1st of February as well as you have the Fed meet as well. So a lot of movers and shakers, a lot of volatility uh, that can be expected. Thanks.